We have come to give solidarity from the RMT as a national trade union to all the Unite workers here today. And what an absolute indictment of Crossrail that they've sacked a whole company because one of our members who's a member of Unite as well has been on this site organising for health and safety purposes. 28 workers sacked at the Crossrail site at Westbourne Park. A couple of weeks later there's an accident on the site of people could have been injured. As soon as I was elected shop steward, I raised a safety issue about the tunnel boring machine. I was removed off the site and placed in solitary confinement for 11 hours a day. I wasn't allowed to be in the workplace. Our health and safety rep was 13 weeks suspended for a minor indiscretion. Our electrical foreman, the engineer, the highest man paid by EIS, he was removed off site because he took a picture of HV cables which had which had scaffold boards and scaffolding thrown on it. Read all about it. Leaflets being handed out. There is no official organiser at the moment. It's about time in this country we have union rights, we have the right to organise, and we have the right for workers to go to work without the threat of being killed at the end of the day to make someone else a fat profit. The police should be ashamed of themselves for turning up and not arresting the people who run this site. Ladies and gents, I'm going to call for more police just to push you out the road, so if you could go whenever, that'd be great. Thank you. If you want to look at people who are breaking the law, go and have a chat with Crossrail, BAM, BFK, all these companies that are blacklisting, that are victimising trade unionists for doing their job. That's the, uh, yeah, that's the that's the job. Yeah. That's He's responsible for this. They're standing up against the wall. Who sacked all these people. Yeah, you've been sussed, mate. You've got to go, right? The way they want to run that project is, if they don't like it, they want to sack it. But if, you, if you look at the form in the wrong way, they want you to move to the site. And as for dealing with the trade union, actually having to manage men, a lot of these managers have no idea how to do it. We want a safe working environment for everyone, we want to be treated fairly, that's all we want. And EIS workers, we've done nothing wrong. I had to sit there and watch the payroll girls crying their eyes out, they cleared their desks. Like they're not only they're attacking everyone. This is the fourth week of the campaign, we're not going away. So long as Crossrail refuse to recognise our trade union, so long as Crossrail continue to sack people just for raising concerns about health and safety, we're going to be back time and time again. The big development that's happened this week is that Crossrail have gone to ACAS, they've been in contact with Gail Carmel, the Assistant General Secretary of Unite, and what they've said is the thing that they hate the most is the protest. So that's why we're back here. Good evening, London. <laughs> it's great to be here. Showing solidarity to the boys in the Crossrail dispute, showing that we will not tolerate the likes of BAM, Crown House, any of these companies blacklisting our members, sacking our members, denying them the right to earn a living. And we will come up here as often as we can to show solidarity to the boys up here. I think a lot more guys should get involved now because this is taking our jobs away from us. Too much agency labour. Let's get direct employment. People are on money that was being issued in 1998. We should be looking at a good rate of pay, a living wage, and that's what we want. We need to fight for it. These companies are getting billions of pounds of our taxpayers' money. Ours, yours, my money. This is union busting. If we don't defeat this, every rep in the country, I feel, is going to come under attack because the, the biggest, most high profile project in the country, they've gone, this is what we think of our, your shop stewards, Unite the Union. They just ripped, up, ripped the company off the project. So, like, if we don't stop this, 
if they'll say, well, we'll just carry on. Crossrail better get the message that these protests will continue until Frank Morris and every other blacklisted worker is back on that site where he should be, doing the job for the members, ensuring everyone's safe.